Devlin number 13. I've been playing basketball since I was in fourth grade and I never thought I would be seen here today. It's been a long and crazy ride but I must say I have enjoyed every minute of it. When I came to Shaler in ninth grade and started to play basketball I had no idea what to expect. I can still remember one of the times in the film room when Mr. Mazzetti told Jess, the lone senior, that in a blink of an eye, it would all be over. Sitting there as a freshman, I thought he was crazy. I didn't realize that time would have gone by as fast as it did. Now as a senior, and our season is finally winding down, I have some sad and a ton of happy memories. First, I would like to thank my parents for being there with me from the very first practice in fourth grade to up until my very last game as a senior. I appreciate everything you've done for me, even though I might not always show it. But just know that I listen to your advice, and I will take it with me. And I really do appreciate all that you have done. To the coaches, Mr. Mazzetti, 
you're pretty crazy, and I was intimidated by you, but I did listen to what you had to say, and I am thankful for encouraging words that you've said to me throughout the past four years, and, I'm, and always having faith. To Scott, you started with us, and you always said you are going to end with us. I thank you for all your kind words, and always having faith in me. Coach A and Coach Serena, you two are new additions to the team, but I am thankful for your dedication and your effort and your encouragement. And I am thankful also that you came to be part of our team. To the seniors, Jossie, I started with you and I finished with you. We were Bobcats, now we're Titans. It's been one heck of a ride, but I'm glad I got to share with someone so special. To Melissa, I met you in ninth grade and then you were quiet. Now, you're just my gangster girl and you'll always be known as Mac to me. To Cat. Your mouth is always running. I'm glad that you're one of my best friends and you always know how to make me laugh. Jules, you're the motivational one. I'm glad you're one of my best friends and have stuck by me and encouraged me to stay with basketball in the roughest of times. Chrissy V, you are always the quiet one, all four years. Never said too much, but I admire you for your hustle and your determination and you never gave up. No matter how bad things got, you always stuck with it. I admire you. To the other classmen, don't quit. Stick with it and work hard. And be friends with your teammates because they'll become like your sisters. You guys will make some of the best memories that any friends in high school could ever have. To the whole team, I thank you greatly for all of the memories from team camps to just summer practices or after school practices to team dinners and team and family parties to the game nights to times in the locker room. I thank you for all of that. I wish you all the best of luck in the future and I will miss you all. Chrissy B. Jitsky, number 15, but all you guys know me as Chrissy B. Mr. Mazzetti is always saying how the years will go by real fast, and what do you know, he was right for once. Um, I can remember my first open gym. I was scared to death. I was getting myself sick. And I walked in, and I saw everybody in there. I saw Colleen, and Colleen, you were crazy, but you know. Uh, I walk in and I was afraid of Mr. Rossetti and Scott, of course, and, but when I saw the girls, I was a little afraid, but then I loved you guys after a while. And now the years are over and I don't want to leave. Basketball is not just your sport. Uh, you put your blood, sweat, and tears in it every day, and you work hard, and we're family. We stick together, and underclassmen, you have to be a family to play well. You guys know your family, and you have to stick together. You might have fights just like sisters do, you got to keep going. Coaches, I want to thank you for everything. Um, I am so glad that I did not quit last year. I'm so glad. Mr. Mazzetti, you have more confidence in me than I do in myself. Scott, thank you for all the encouragement on the bench. And I went from saying, Coach, I suck, coming off the floor, to Coach, I scored on Jaleesa Sams. Uh, Mr. Serino, you're like an annoying older brother, but you know, you're fun sometimes. Coach A, it's great to have a girl. Uh, somebody we can talk to and goof around with. Thank you so much for all you guys being there. Um, girls, you have changed my life. I've had so much fun. Um, you guys know I'm quiet, you know, but I love you know opening up to you guys and having fun. Seniors, you're the best. Jossie, Kristen, Melissa, Jules, Colleen, I will miss you guys so much. You will be forever my friends and I will never forget you guys. Thank you everybody for so much. Mom, Dad, I would not be here if it weren't for you guys. I love you both very much and I'm, you support me no matter what, good or bad. You support, support every decision I make. Thank you everybody for four great years and I will definitely be back next year to visit. Thank you everybody. Colleen Cannon, number 20. Four years have gone by, faster than I can ever imagine. I can still remember my first practice uh, for Shayla Varsity. I remember me, Jossie, and Kristen we used to carpool together, and we were about 15 minutes late for practice. And my first experience with Mr. Mazzetti was having him make us run because we were late. So while everybody else warmed up, we got to do laps for a good 20 minutes. It was Definitely a good memory, but over these four years, 
I have changed so much as a person. Came in as a quiet freshman, and now you guys know me. And over four years, it's just been, it's gone by faster than you can ever imagine. Uh, I'd like to thank my family for always being there for me and helping me to always achieve what I put my mind to and thank all you girls. You girls are like my sisters, especially you five seniors. You have seen me at my best, you've seen me at my worst, still stuck by me, so pretty much know everything there is and I thank that you guys are my teammates and my best friends. I'd like to thank my team for making basketball so much fun. You girls are crazy. I've had so many fun memories with you and each and every one of you brings something to the team and I couldn't imagine the team without any one of you. I'd like to thank Mr. Mazzetti and Scott for always being there for me and never giving up on me. I know I'm a stubborn person but you guys have always been there to pick my head up when it was down. Um, Coach A, you're like a sister. I'm so happy that you coached this year. And Mr. Serena, you've always been there with encouraging words when anybody needed them, with life stories that we really do take to heart. My advice for next year is to always listen to what the coaches have to say. They're really trying to improve the team and they really are trying to help you. And I believe that you guys will be a good team as long as you work to your potential and work as a team. Never give up. Never Put your head down, always believe in yourself. Uh, next year I'll definitely come and visit you guys. I'm gonna miss you more than you can ever imagine. And thank you for four years of fun. Hi guys, this is Jossie, number 21. First I would like to thank my parents for always being there and supporting me. For always picking me up from practice and supporting me in everything that I did. You guys are my number one fans and I love you so much for that. Next I want to thank my coaches, Mr. Mazzetti, Scott, Coach A, Mr. Strino, aka Big Cat. I want to thank you for always believing in me and never giving up on anything. I also want to thank you for pushing me to be the very best, to do the very best that I can. To my teammates, the 20 of you have made my senior year the best and unforgettable. We've had so many great memories. To some of our team dinners and team parties, they were just crazy. I came to practices just for you girls. You guys got me through it. Stick with it and stick with each other because every suicide and Indian run is worth all the memories. To my five seniors, I love you girls. You guys are, pretty, are like my sisters. You, got, you have made my four years of playing basketball the best. I don't know what I would have done without you. All in all, the past four years have been the best, and I wouldn't trade in one memory. Melissa McQuaid, number 22, AKA the X or Scooter. I can't believe that this is the end of my senior year, and we're gonna be in college next year, and we're done playing basketball together and I'll never forget all the fun times and a few of the worst times but mostly good times that I've had with this team. Uh, I could probably talk for hours about all the inside jokes and memories I've had with this team but I'm going to start by thanking my family, my mom, my dad, Derek, Val, uh, my grandparents who have been the every one of my games since the third grade. Um, my, the rest of my family, my aunt and uncle, um, and my other loyal supporters, uh, the administration here at Shaler, Mr. and Mrs. Suit, you've always supported me, and, I, or, and Ms. Mullen, my jet ski partner. Um, Mr. Mazzetti and Scott, it's been quite a journey uh, you guys have taught me a lot, and I want to thank you. Uh, Coach A and Mr. Strino, uh, you guys were new this year. I'm sure you've learned a lot from us, but good luck with your coaching careers. Um, and then to my teammates, uh, next year's team, you guys, um, you have to give it your all, and 
this is your last shot uh, next year. You, you have to, everything that you do, all the sprints and suicides, everything will be worth it in the end. And when things are rough, just keep pushing through because everything that you do in practice is going to be reflected on the court. And it'll show if you guys just work really hard next year. Um, then my other seniors, um, Shaky, Gangster Dev, Hairball, Josh, and The Jet. We have been together for so long, most of us, since the summer of our freshman year. You guys are my best friends. I don't know what I would do without you on this team, on and off the court, like in school and out of school. We've always been the closest. I can talk about anything with you guys, and I'm going to miss you next year like crazy because we basically live together. Um, but I'd like to thank everyone for their support, and I'm going to miss everyone next year. And that's it. <laughs>Hi, my name is Julian Harris, but most of you know me as Harry, or Hairball, like this thing on top of my head. Um, it's been a great four years here at Shaler, and thank you everyone. First, I'd like to thank my parents for always being there for me and teaching me about life and everything and how to get through everything and how leadership's the most important thing. My sister Carly, my brother Danny. Carly, you're my biggest fan, and I wish you the best of luck in the future with basketball. And Danny, thanks for everything, and you are my motivation. And I'd also like to thank my coaches for believing me throughout the past four years. And I'll never have coaches like you, and thank you very much. Mr. Mazzetti and Scott, it's been a great four years, and I've had a lot of fun, and I've grown as a person. Coach A, you have older sister I've never had, and thank you for all the help with point guard and everything and Mr. Strino also thank you to all the um, the lifetime lessons that you've taught me I really appreciate them to my teammates you girls have been the best I've had so many memories that I'll never forget I'd like to start with my first one which was not all of you have shared this memory with me but I know my seniors have my first year here was in ninth grade, and when I first came in, I went to Cal U basketball camp, where I met these lovely seniors, and this is kind of the story of how I got my nickname Harry, which was embarrassing at the time, but now I'm used to it. There was a Jolie on the team, Jolie Stample, I mean, and they couldn't have a Jolie and a Jules. It, was, it must have been too confusing to scream at both of them, because we both look. So all the teammates, started calling me Harry because my last name's Harris and I guess it was funny and embarrassing for me so I've been called Harry ever since and I'm sure you're wondering how I got hairball because that name started to come up this year it was one practice during the summer I don't, e I don't even know what happened Mr. Mazzetti just randomly screamed hairball <laughs> and you know with his little voice hairball like <laughs> It was just really, that was even more embarrassing, but I mean, now the girls call me that now, and because sometimes I wear this big bun on top of my head, I guess it looks like a big hairball. I also want to thank my seniors for everything. I've been through so much, all the laughs, the cries, the good times and the bad times, and I'll never forget any of you. You all have become my best friends, and I hope my best friends for life. There's nothing... I couldn't talk to any one of you about, and we've always been there for each other, and I would never choose any five other girls I'd rather play with. Thank you for four great seasons and for everything. To all the underclassmen, good luck with everything you do. Remember, every year counts. Every game counts. Every play counts. Everything counts in life. If you want to go anywhere, you have to learn to play with teammates and know how to work with people and also always have confidence and always work hard hard work equals success
Look, look here. I can't. Say. I don't like this. I'm bad at right. speech and debate. Right. <laughs> well, hello there. Don't you want to go? I don't want to go. <laughs> okay, now uh, talk to me. Oh my, okay. but I'm looking at the camera. No, you look at me. Just look right at me. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so whenever I'm talking about my parents, I say, you are my number one fans, like plural. I sound like plural. You're number one fans. <laughs> I'm good. I don't even care. Like, I don't even care. It's so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> we should go. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing anything. Alright, ready? Ready? Last time. <laughs> yo, 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 we run the show. All the way from the locker room to the flow. We had a great time even when we did this rhyme, and we know how to stay. We'll miss y'all. Good night, like you and your ball. Big cat in the house, but you look like a mouse. Oh, you oh. Oh. you want to run us, but your time is up. I'm going to get a glass of water now. What's up? What's up? This is year number four, and we're out the door. <laughs> and this is our goodbye. We had a great time. We know how to stay fly. No lie. Okay, I don't know what to do with my hands.